Hey guys, my name's Dale, and you're watching The Factoid. So, if I were to ask you who were the people who brought you into existence, you'd probably look at me funny, because that's a weird question, but then go on to most likely say your mother and your father. I mean, obviously. But, your existence didn't only rely on your parents, but your parents' parents, and your grandparents' parents, and your great-grandparents' parents, and so on and so forth. So, then how many people did it take for you to exist? Well, before I start, here's a little bit of back information. In a hundred years, there are about four to five generations that fit within it. It is possible to have three and even six. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use an easy number at five. So we'll have five generations represent roughly a hundred years. Five generations contains 62 people, 62 people who are necessary for you to exist. But that sounds like a weird number, so let me show you guys the math that I used in order to get these numbers that I'll be showing you. And yes, I did all the calculations for this video by my lonesome, and it was absolutely dreadful, and you'll understand why very soon. So here you are, but you don't count because you didn't contribute to your own existence. But some people who did were your parents. They count as two. Your grandparents, being that you have four of them, add that to your parents, makes six. Your great-grandparents, being that you already have eight of them, add that to the six and you get 14. You then have 16 great-great-grandparents, add that to 14, you get 30. And lastly, you have 32 great-great-great-grandparents, add that to 30 and you get 62. And that's basically how the math works. But you're gonna soon find out that these numbers don't stay small at all. It should also be noted that the numbers I'll be using are in a perfect world scenario, meaning that there is no incest. But for now, the numbers are fun to learn about, so we'll just get to that, and I'll talk about that later. So, as I said, five generations is 62 people. So then what about 10 generations? That's about 200 years. Well, that number jumps quite a bit, actually, being that 10 generations before you contains 2,108 people. That's the 10th generation all the way to your parents. And all these people were necessary for you to exist today. Okay, then the 10 doesn't seem like a How about 25 generations? That's about 500 years. Well, th this number is very big. Phenomenally much bigger than just 2,108. I mean, the 25th generation in its loathsome, without counting everybody after it, contains 33,554,432 people. That's just the 25th generation by itself. If you add everybody after the 25th generation to the 25th generation itself, you get 67,108,834 people. 67 million. That's just 500 years. <laughs> All right, then what about which generation was it when you finally reach a billion people who are necessary for you to exist today? Well, you don't have to go far. It's only four generations after the 25th generation. Yes. The 29th generation in a perfect world would have 1,073,741,794 people. And that in most cases wouldn't even be 600 years. Meaning that since the time Columbus reached the new world, there would have to have been that many people having offspring in order for you to exist. So yeah, we are all very, very lucky people that the right combinations managed to happen in order for us to exist. All right, well, a billion's fun and all, but what about a trillion? Which generation is the first generation to peak a trillion people? Well, it's only 10 generations after that. At the 39th generation, which is about 800 years, roughly, there are 1 trillion 99 billion 511 million 813,858 people, all of which would have been necessary for you to exist in a perfect world. But because I'm a nice guy, I, I took the time to calculate and see how many people would be in 50 generations or a thousand years. Well, hold on to your jaw, because this number is unbelievably massive. So, in a perfect world without any incest, there would be two quadrillion, 251 trillion, 799 billion, 813 million, 685 thousand, 252 people. And that number is just for you and your siblings, if you have any. Imagine adding that to everybody else's individual number on Earth. Ah, uh, it's unreal. It is 
the, the numbers are unfathomable, that's how big they are. Now I want to put a little disclaimer, being that the last nine digits I can't honestly say are 100% correct. Once the numbers got this big, I had a very hard time making sure each single number was correctly being placed in. I mean, it took me over an hour to just calculate all this out, and I was not doing it again. But I just want to take this number. Look at that. That is just a thousand years. I had the intention of going to 2,000 years. I decided to stop because the numbers were so big. I actually had to go online to find a calculator that was large enough to hold these numbers in it. It was getting ridiculous. I absolutely had no idea the numbers were gonna get this big. But just to help you wrap your mind around this number, if we were to translate every single person 50 generations down and make every single one of those people represent a single second in time, and if I were to translate all those seconds into years, we would have 71,600,268 years. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, that, uh. In the end, what does all this mean? These numbers are fun and all, but they're not realistic. Turns out incest is a lot more prevalent than what it would appear. Heh. <laughs> Ewey. I mean, the population in the year 1000 is projected to be at just 300 million. So obviously you can't get two quadrillion people out of that. But today this is changing a lot more. Because isolated populations of people historically are now having the capability to have children with each other. So if you leave here with anything, just remember that we all are a big family. Quite literally. Just hope that we're far enough away genetically that once we do get together it's, it's not weird. Oh boy. And with all that said and done, thank you guys for watching. My question for you is, is how is this information going to impact your life? Is it gonna matter? Is it not gonna matter? What, what's going through your mind right now? My name's Dale, you're watching The Factoid, and remember, never stop learning, even if it can be a bit gross. If you like my videos, please stay tuned for more. Videos on the facts that almost everybody missed.